Organisations like Dunedin and Canmore are fulfilling a vital function in our society of reaching some of the most excluded individuals in our country and giving them the necessary skills and training to get them back into the labour market. And I'm delighted the Scottish Government has been able to give such strong support to the work that's undertaken. Well, we're here to see a digital skills programme in action and what this is illustrating is the benefit of investing in people to help lift them out of poverty. And that's in stark contrast to the approach of the UK Government, which we'll see in the budget this week, is determined to cut support from the people who need it most. The proposals we're hearing that are coming out of the UK Government to reduce the value of tax credits would have a huge effect on some of the most vulnerable individuals in Scotland. There's 500,000 children in Scotland living in families that are supported by tax credits and these are essential parts of family income and if the tax credits are reduced as has been suggested will be the case then that will reduce the amount of income coming into vulnerable households, it will damage the life chances and the opportunities of young people. And that's not what we should be doing, to try to support families back into the labour market and to support them through the challenges and overcoming the obstacles that many of these vulnerable individuals have to face. Part of the work we do in communities is to, to really encourage people, give them opportunities. Everything these days is done needs digital skills. And people are a bit nervous and they could build a confidence, you bring them into the community, they're in the community, they can be there, they can be comfortable, they can learn, it's a free service and it gives them huge employment opportunities. So it's a real benefit to them and it benefits our community, it benefits the Canmore, it benefits Edinburgh, it benefits Scotland, so there's a whole range of reasons for doing it. Well, I liked about the organisation, they listened to what I wanted to do, they didn't they just try to get me any job, they, want, they helped me get the job I wanted. So this is what the Scottish Government will continue to do, invest in what matters to people so that we can get people into good, well-paid work. That's the route out of poverty instead of taking away the safety net uh, that they rely on, which is the approach of the UK Government.